the cheesy goodness. Morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a lovely day. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thank you for stopping by. I'd really appreciate it if you guys can hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos every single every single three days, so I would really appreciate it if you guys can subscribe. I'm currently editing this video that you guys are watching, but in this video, I'll just show you a couple of days, like a week's worth of what I eat during the day. And obviously, this video was pre-filmed, but it is kind of like a what I eat in a week video there are some double ups in here so if I do double up on a food which I really do during pregnancy because some foods like make me nauseous and some foods are safe for me so sometimes when I stick to the same thing I don't add it in the video but I will definitely tell you what I had for breakfast lunch and dinner if I do double up and don't end up showing you guys um, but yeah it is basically what I eat in a week whilst pregnant and um, at the moment I am 18 weeks pregnant I'll quickly very quickly give you guys a little bump update just over my clothing and then let's get straight into the video but if you guys do enjoy it please don't forget to give it a like share it with your friends family and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every single three days and if you guys do have any video recommendations leave them in the comments down below this is what your girl obviously i do have a tracksuit on but this is what your girl is currently looking like at 18 weeks pregnant the bump is there and she is getting bigger day by day so love that but welcome to the video and i hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do end up making any recipes from this video don't forget to share it on your instagram and don't forget to tag me i love you all and enjoy Hello, hello. So for meal number one on the Monday, we had some sweet potato, some spinach. I have a little bit of chicken there and then also some veggie rice. I'm actually craving this veggie rice now with a side of fat-free Greek yogurt and it was absolutely phenomenal. For meal number two, we had some boiled charisma potatoes and just some chicken that we got from um, Bullies and then again, never ending yogurt on the side. I had a little bit of those LCM, you know, the, the split sticks or a little snack and then a bowl of mashed potato and Ned brought some donut or donash chicken and also some beef from his restaurant. So that was dinner with a bit of obviously yogurt and then for dessert i ended up having my mother-in-law's rice pudding i was craving this poor bub so she made me an almond milk one good morning everyone workout is done in the morning i just go and buy a iced frappuccino quarter strength with um, sugar-free vanilla and on almond milk you guys see this literally on my stories every single morning but i've been sipping on that throughout my workout i'm going to get my meal one prepared today ned's at home so this will be like a b-roll kind of thing but we are going to steam a whole head of pumpkin you guys have seen it on my stories i have pumpkin every single day sorry about the gate um my neighbor's gate by the way uh yeah i have a, a pup i have pumpkin every single day maybe two times a day for digestion it just really helps with like pregnancy constipation um or sweet potato or both really um and then i have prepped up some silken tofu and put a bit of nutritional yeast in there, a bit of salt to make it like a vegan egg kind of thing because i really do love my scrambled egg whites except baby doesn't like it gives me nausea so i've opted out for my protein to be a scrambled egg tofu egg but anyway let's get started so this is my meal one you guys have seen my breakfast not my breakfast but my coffee um and i'll show you guys how i make it bit of milk prep for tuesday morning i couldn't cut this pumpkin and it was literally a hazard for me to do exactly what i'm doing now so i called ned over and he helped me out with um, cutting the pumpkin up. I ended up steaming this whole batch because I literally have pumpkin every single day. I steamed it in wedges. Sometimes I like to have the skin, sometimes I don't, just depending on the day. Sometimes it really makes me feel queasy and um, sometimes it's great. Like it's amazing, especially for fiber. So I um, steamed this up and then I mashed it in a massive bowl as you guys would see and then stored it in the fridge for later but my meal number one for the tuesday was a mashed pumpkin baby spinach some of the um, silken tofu egg scramble that i made well a fake egg scramble and then i topped it off with some nando's peri peri sauce i had half of this sandwich inside is just like some chicken deli avocado baby spinach and um, i had half of it half of it was for ned We're back home i'm having about 80 grams of chicken and then some pumpkin and some sweet potato with the leftover yogurt that i had for a snack before we start cooking and 
while we watch a movie. Then for dinner, I made some pasta. I used the Fibre Smart Pastas from Veta or Vegeta or something like that. I just added 95% lean beef mint into a pan or in this case a wok and then I added a whole bag of mushrooms. Mushrooms like decrease in size a lot exactly like baby smooch which you will see in a little second. I just waited for the mushrooms to release their water and soak it all up and then added some baby spinach in and then I drained my pasta added a whole can of pasta sauce and that was the mixture for my pasta I have a post on this on Instagram if you guys want to check it out We are currently watching Fast and Foods, but dinner is a homemade Lazy Girls Bolognese. I'll pop the recipe over here, but it is also on my um, Instagram as well with my highlights, or as a post on my page. Then for a little snack before bed, because I was feeling really nauseous, I had some shapes. Wednesday breakfast was a smoothie. I used the blessed protein <laughs> in blueberry, in blueberry pie. So if you guys want to use it, I'll pop my code on the screen for you guys to go and have a look at blessed protein, EHP labs. My code works for all of them. And then for an afternoon snack, I just had some Turkish bagels. This is just like a sesame bagel with side pickles, cottage cheese, and a little cup of Turkish tea. Then for my afternoon snack, I had one of these like Be Ready Nutella wafer crisp. And then for dinner, we had some rice, peas, chicken, and a little bit of tomato salsa on top. For my dessert, I have a lot of chips. I've just been loving chips, but I had some uh, Smith's Poppables and Smith's Baked Chips. And then right before bed, I don't know why, I just was craving some orange juice, so I ended up having that too. Oh my god okay don't worry about the way i look because this video isn't about how i look but good morning it is what's today thursday today's thursday just finished a workout it was like a 50 cynic 50 cynics 56 minute workout um lower and upper body was just like a full body circuit that had no weights involved just um i used a band but i'm making that a nice and breakfast now i'm making um, my usual pumpkin mash with like chicken and a bit of leftovers from last night, which is like a beef bolognese and mashed potato. And then for Ned, I'm making an egg and avocado grilled toast kind of thing, but I will give you guys a little bit of a B-roll on how I so make it. Just enjoy the B-roll of me making breakfast. Had an egg, also like a little frappe on the side as well. As you guys always know, I have I have frappes literally every single morning. Toasted up two pieces of bread. Popped half an avocado on top. I don't know why I had trouble cutting this avocado um, and I picked it out. Like I picked the avocado out. That was good. I chopped the rest out and then chopped it off with some cheese, chicken salami, the egg scramble and that was bliss. my belt on but it is 318 plans were to go to go 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 plans were to just go and get my iron infusion done and then go home have some lunch sorry i'm filming on my phone so i don't know where to look exactly but that took three and a half hours reason being is i always have a reaction to getting my iron done and i this is like my third time in the year but we got it done 
We got the infusion done, we're all good. So what I did was I just had like a pack of Mentos while I was in the doctors. That's the only thing that they had there, which I, you know, pre-planned, but I didn't know I was gonna be there for so long because last time I was only there for like an hour. But this time, three and a half hours, and then after my infusion, sorry, the camera is like really jittery. They wanted to, me to lay down for like 30 minutes, just in case I get an, uh, um, a reaction. And then I fell asleep there, so they left me there for a bit, which worked to my advantage because they just made sure everything was okay. And then at the very end, because they close the practice really early, they checked the baby. So they just checked the baby's heartbeat um, and heartbeat was fine just to be safe, you know. Oop, 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 sorry, guys, but it's Amber. I can't. Yeah, I know you're going to get the shits with me. Sorry, but I'm not going to break the rules for you. Um, so, yeah, everything is fine. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have, like, a snack or some lunch or properly. I mean, I will grab, if I can find a protein bar, I will grab a protein bar from the supermarket. But what I did was I went and got an iced frappuccino. I'm going to also stop this habit of mine. Like, it's becoming really unhealthy. The addiction is real but i do have a few things to pick up from the supermarket and then i'll probably go home edit because i do need to get a video up edit i'm not going to have time for lunch and i'm not hungry breakfast was really satisfying really satiating and i don't want to be eating and feeling sick you know what i mean i want to be able to feel hunger and eat so got some errands to run I'm not having lunch today we're skipping a bit of lunch and then i shall see you guys for some dinner okay so i'm going to be snacking on this one but i do get a few others i found these that I'm also going to have in the car as well. That's just by JS Health. Um, and I'm really interested in their proteins as well, but the we'll snack on these two while we shop. I would have actually had a mental breakdown if anything happened to my camera today, because not a good day. We are feeling funky fresh. I've got my PJs on, sorry. Um, but I am making dinner. I was gonna make like noodles. It's now currently, what's the time? Jesus. 6.39, 6.40. I was going to make noodles, but then I'm like, look, this is more nutritionally dense. I've got food prepped up in the fridge. So I've just got a handful of kale and baby spinach. And then I have my steamed pumpkin. And because I didn't eat much today, I just want a nutri nutritionally dense meal. And then I have my meal prepped uh, turkey rissoles. Then I'm just going to have some Greek yogurt. Uh, leftovers from this morning and I'm finished that up. I go through this like once every three days So let me prep this up and we shall eat and I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos while I eat So you guys will have a little bit of b-roll. Let's do this And there we have it such a nutritionally dense meal I will definitely pop on a little bit of chili sauce on this and salt and enjoy that goodness wow while i'm watching some youtube videos does anyone else do this just like stand in your pantry and eat some snacks while you're deciding what snack to have i ended up like snacking on a whole load of like cornflakes cereal and then i had a little bit of like fiber one cereal i had no sorry a special case cereal i just had all of the cereal that was inside my pantry and then i decided okay i feel like some cereal let's have a bowl of cereal so that was my pre-dinner i mean pre-bedtime snack for once we look like a human good morning everyone i hope every one of you are having a lovely day it is friday today and the last day of this vlog i look like a human on the very last day of this vlog but i'm just currently making up my breakfast or meal number one i hadn't had a um normal coffee i mean um, starbucks coffee today i had one decaf it is now 12 o'clock because i've been running around i did a workout and then um in the morning i did my own little frappuccino in my cute little tumbler cup over here and that's like almost done i use this as a pre-workout because there was real coffee in there now making meal number one as per usual we've just got some lettuce let me show you same thing as last night because um 
I am using up whatever I have in the fridge. Uh, Friday nights and Saturday nights are my meal prep days. So I've just got some lettuce over here, about 69 grams of lettuce. But I promise you my afternoon snack is gonna be great or lunch. 69 grams of lettuce. Then we have some leftover pumpkin and chicken that I'll be using up. You guys know I hate wasting food and I just use whatever up in my fridge. All right, and then we have a little bit of pumpkin. I'm also like kind of meal prepping at the moment. And then the turkey rissoles left over from last night. And that is gonna be meal number one with a bit of Greek yogurt and some chili sauce on the side. Okay, my loves, we are time, we are time. It is time to make some lunch. So I am making up a macro-friendly at-home McChicken meal. I'm making a reel of this. I'll post the reel after these clips. But currently I am air frying some potato chips and a um the steggles chicken breast burgers and then i have the low fiber uh bread rolls over here that i toasted on the um, little saucepan and then for my mayo we are going to use the traditional no fat mayo and a side of fries obviously and some lettuce but let me get into the b-roll and explain everything to you guys while i'm doing it i apologize so creating the reel i didn't record it obviously but you guys are going to see it in the next clip and it's a full reel with a voiceover so you will know what to do and the macros will be on the screen um but here it is here's my at home mcchicken burger well meal because there is fries in there as well look at that that is gonna be an amazing amazing lunch wow all for such good macros such good ingredients and no added chemicals or additives in it this looks incredible this honestly looks incredible wow here's a little overview because i just can't get enough there we go love that for me I'll see you guys at a snack. Pregnancy Cravings 101. I wanted to make a McChicken meal at home. So here are all your ingredients. High fiber, low carb bread, iceberg lettuce, chicken breast nuggets by Steggles and some light mayo. I have one spud light potato ready, about 100 grams. Chop that into fries and then pop in your chicken breast burger patty into the air fryer and along with your fries. And then air fry them for 20 minutes on 200 degrees. While that's cooking, you want to toast up your bread on a little pan, a non-stick pan, and then set them aside once your burger patties and your chippies are done add a bit of light mayo onto your bun add your chicken breast fillet in and then a bit of lettuce on top close the bun and then add a little skewer to set that bad boy in place add your fries to the side and the macros will be on the screen if you try this recipe out please don't forget to tag me in your stories and don't forget to follow me for more hi hello okay so it is coming to four o'clock and i'm gonna get dinner prepped up reason being is i'm gonna make a bake um, I'm using the Nando's Peri Peri sauce in mild. I have also made a little bit of meal prep. So in here I have my sweet potato, my boiled purple sweet potato, which I think I'm going to have as a little snack because I'm craving it. And then over here I have the broccoli that's been steamed and the cauliflower that's been steamed. That's going to go with my Nando's chicken bake. And then I have sawing out some chicken breast but i do want to strain that because it's been it's been defrosting over there and then i did steam some carrot because this week instead of pumpkin your girl's gonna have some mashed carrot for the baby so let me show you how i make this i'm just gonna leave the carrots to kind of cool off i did leave the skin on so here we go as you can see ouch okay that's hot and because i hate carrots i don't like the taste of carrots unfortunately i'm just gonna add in a little bit of that seasoning and mash it together okay i'm gonna let that sit for a bit because it does have a little bit of water on top i just need to make it like cool down wait for it to cool down and then I'm going to strain the water out of it and um, re-mash it. All right, let's get into this bake. Popping in chicken. Then our broccoli. 
And then lastly, our cauliflower. I do like some of that chicken showing though. Make it look pretty. Mm. Cool. And then we're going to drizzle it with our Nando sauce. Very lastly, just add a dollop of that. All the cheesy goodness. And that's what it looks like. So into the oven she goes. Now I will drain this and then remash it. We're done. Just a little drizzle of that seasoning. Sitting top. So while we wait for that to cook, and today I want to enjoy some picklets. We'll have um, maybe maybe four. Yeah. Let's have four picklets. And then on top of that, I'm going to make up a little paste of um, powdered peanut butter. So just a little paste of powdered peanut butter, a little drizzle of maple syrup, and then a dash of the um, maple syrup. Because I don't want it too, too runny. I want it like an actual peanut butter paste. You know what I mean? There we go. So see how it's like a peanut butter paste? It's not like a runny paste. That's what I wanted. Great. And look at that. Just in time for dinner. So it's now 5.15. And in about 10 minutes when this cools down, I'll have it with a side of mashed carrot. Alrighty, my loves, that is it there for today's video. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to share it with your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload every single three days. Sorry, I'm holding my head because I got a headache. I just took two Panadols. I'm gonna go to sleep right now. If you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below, and I will definitely see you guys in the next three days. Bye. Oh, also, if you guys do make these recipes or whatever, especially the cheesy cauliflower, broccoli, and chicken Nando's bake, let me know. Tag me on Insta and I'll reshare your stories. Bye.